Okay, guys. So, um, unfortunately, I ran out of the yarn that I was using for the body. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do the sleeves. Um, I was initially planning on using this yarn for the sleeves as it matches the gray. But because the sleeve holes um, are, you know, it's got the red around the sleeve holes, I am actually going to just show you guys with this gray yarn how to work up the sleeves. And then when I get a chance, I will be um, getting some more of this these colors and redoing the sleeves. So for now, I'm just going to show you guys how to do the sleeves. Um, and then of course, later I'll, I'll frog it and I'll redo them in a proper color, um, in the proper color for mine. Um, so let's see, I need to turn this a little bit this way. So if you look at your um, cardigan, there is actually a top and a bottom. You have to, you'll have to hold it out kind of in front of you by the sleeves. And you'll see that the width uh, between the armholes uh, is shorter than what it is on the other side of the circle. That shorter part is going to be the top of your cardigan. Um, so to start the sleeves off, we're going to be working over here in these spaces. If I can get this very large piece set up. <laughs> um, let me, let me arrange stuff and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so for the first part of the sleeve. Doesn't matter if I have ter a terribly long tail because I'm not going to be weaving in these ends. I'll be frogging it. Um, we're going to start on the side that we skipped fan stitches in. And we're going to start right here in this chain two space. <clears throat> I'm just going to slip stitch to rejoin my yarn right there. <clears throat> so for this round, it's going to be very similar to um, to if I can find one, these rounds here where we did um, double crochet chain fives. Um, it's going to be very similar to these. So with one difference, we're going to chain up three, two, three, and then we're going to chain one. And then we're going to put another double crochet into this chain space, into the same chain space. And then we're going to chain one. We're going to jump over into the next chain two space and place another double crochet. And then we're going to chain one, place another double crochet into the, into the same chain two space. And we're going to continue that all the way across let me see if I can get this out of the way. Maybe I can show it a little better. We're going to continue doing that all the way across this one side of our sleeve until we get to this chain two space here. <clears throat> At that point, you can see, maybe you can see, <laughs> You can see um, the 
it's a chain and we that's where we did a chain to make the sleeve yoke so we're gonna just do we're gonna just do a chain one double crochet and a chain in the chain two space chain one double crochet in the same chain two space and we're gonna do that all the way across and I will meet back up with you guys when I get to the other side of the sleeve okay so this is what the first side of your sleeve is going to look like and so since I'm making a small there is only 36 there should only be 36 double crochets if you're making this small um, each one having a single chain in between um, if you're making the medium you will have a total of 42 and that this also includes this starting chain here that counts as your very first double crochet so if you're making the medium you're going to have 42 double crochets and if you're making the large you should have 48 so to do the other side of the sleeve i need to rotate this a little bit the whole sleeve is going to be worked in the round so let's see if i can get my hook in here you can see that there's this little space here and we're just going to be skipping over that and we are going to be placing in my case because i'm working a small i'll be placing 36 double crochets with one chain in between each double crochet on the other side um, for again for the medium it will be 42 and for the large it will be 48 um, so you're gonna try to evenly space your 36 stitches across here and like I said you you can see there's a little space right there um, and then there's also this little space here in my case what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and chain one i'm going to skip over this treble because this is actually a treble here i'm just going to skip completely over it and i'm going to put place my first double crochet right after that around this chain right here um but basically you can do it however you like as long as there is the correct number of double crochets on this side of the sleeve now the way i like to do it i like to i've got my double crochet and my chain one i like to skip this here and then double crochet in between where i worked these uh, double crochet or er, trebles and fans over here so you just got to try to evenly space out your 36 on this side and I will meet back up with you guys once I have done that and then we'll move on to the next round okay so I have my 36 double crochets with chain ones in between and you can see this side looks a little bit different than this side um, that's okay that is how it's supposed to be so in total I have a uh, 72 double crochets with chain ones in between um, and for a medium you will have a total of 84 and for the large you will have a total of 96 double crochets with chain ones in between so I am going to 
readjust. We're going to be doing a lot of readjusting in this video, I think, just because it is worked in the round. Um, at least until the sleeve gets long enough that I can properly show it on camera without it being all wonky. So um, I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to pull this stitch marker off of my little raccoon hook so he's not clanking around. Isn't he cute? Um, so I'm going to chain one and I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain of my starting chain. So one, two, one, two, and three right there. Just like that. And we are ready to start round two of the sleeve. So if you're following along with the diagrams, um, we are going to be working um, the second row of A4B. So we're going to slip stitch into our first chain space. And we are going to chain a total of six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we are going to skip three double crochets. One, two, three. Go into the chain space, the following chain space, and we're going to make a fan like we were doing before. So two trebles. two chains, two trebles, all in the same chain one space. And then we're going to chain two. Now that is the repetition for this round. Um, for a small, you're going to repeat it 12 times. For a um, medium you will repeat it 14 times for a for the large you'll repeat it 16 times so i'll show you guys again i've already done my chain two so we're going to skip three double crochets and place a treble in the next chain space chain two skip three double crochet place a fan stitch in the next chain space. And you're just going to do that all the way around. And I will meet back up with you guys when I am all the way around the sleeve. Alright guys, so I've made it back around to the beginning of my sleeve. Um, I've joined into the fourth chain of my starting chain. Now, we're going to repeat this round two more times. So to start off, we're just going to chain up six. And then we're going to jump into this chain space here. And we're going to place another fan. And then we're going to chain two. So you're just going to repeat this sequence here all the way around twice. So you'll end up with three rows with fan stitches in it. And if you are making a small, you will have 12 fans. A medium will have 14 fans and a large will have 16 fans. So I will meet back up with you guys when I have my two rows for a total of three. All right, guys. So I have made it back around and I have 
three rows of fan stitches. So for this next round, we are going to be decreasing. Um, so to start off your round, you're going to chain up six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to jump into the next fan and place another fan stitch. <clears throat> and then we're going to chain two. Now, here's where we're going to be decreasing. We are going to do uh, three treble crochets that are connected. So we are going to treble in this first. We're going to skip over this chain space and this treble. And then we're going to treble in this first chain space that follows this treble. And we're going to start a treble stitch, but we're going to keep the last two loops on the hook. And then we're going to yarn over twice, go into the chain space of the fan stitch. Um... And you're going to draw through two of those and leave the last loop on the hook for that treble as well. And you're going to do it again a third time for this chain space right here. And then you're going to draw through all four loops on your hook. Just like that. And it gives you this nice kind of pyramid shape. And then you're going to chain two and place a treble right here in this stitch, in the, the following treble. And that is how you do the decreases. Then you're going to chain two, jump right into that next fan stitch, and place another fan. So, for the rest of this round, you are going to continue to place your fan stitches and fan stitches and your trebles and your treble stitches. Um, and I will meet back up with you guys once I get all the way around. Um, now, at the end of this row... Uh, you should have decreased your number of fans by one. It will have been replaced by this little pyramid type guy here. Okay, so I've completed my decrease round. And for the next four rounds, we are just going to be doing fan stitches and trebles. So one, two, three four, five, six. We're going to jump into this first fan stitch and place another fan. Now, right here is the little pyramid that we made. So we're going to chain two 
and we're going to skip over this chain two space, this pyramid, um, and this chain two space, and we're going to jump directly in to the next treble stitch and place a treble. And then we're going to chain two, and we're going to place another fan stitch in the next fan. So that is how you cross past that little pyramid type deal that we made. So oh. we're going to place another fan right in here. And then we're going to chain two and we're going to go around in that manner until the row is complete. And we are going to do four rows of these fan stitches. So if you want to place a, a uh, stitch marker around this first fan so that you can keep track of how many rows that you've done, you can. Um, that's typically what I do. But, uh, like I said, we're going to do four rows of these fans and trebles. Um, and then we're going to do another decrease round. Um, in it, It's slightly different than the first decrease round. So I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. Okay, guys. So for the purposes of saving myself um, more to frog, I am going to cut out the four rows of regular fans and trebles on my piece since I will be frogging this color and going back and doing the sleeves in a different color I'm going I'm just showing you guys um, how to do the sleeves so for your piece you will go ahead and do four rows after the decrease of fans and trebles and chain twos but for the purposes of the tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the decrease now. Um, the second decrease. Um, so the only thing that's really different about the second decrease is that instead of it being at the beginning of the row, you're going to put your second decrease at the end of the row. And then you're going to alternate every time you decrease so your odd numbered decrease decrease rows will be at the beginning of the round this like like we did the first one and then your even ones will be on the end of the round so it's going to be just like before where we skip this chain two, skip this treble, jump into the next chain two space, start off as a treble crochet, but leave those last two loops on the hook, start off placing another treble into the chain two of this fan stitch, and you're going to leave the last loop on the hook and then you're going to place a third one in this chain two space right after the fans fan stitch leaving the last loop on your hook and then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops to give you that decrease and then you're going to slip stitch um, directly into your fourth starting chain. So one, two, three, and four. Just like that. So that is what the decreases are going to look like. Now between each of your decreases, you're going to do a row, or you're going to do three to four rows of fan stitches and trebles. And the reason I say three to four 
is because in the pattern it actually says to decrease every three and an eighth inch. I usually do it about three to four rows and then I'll do a decrease. And you're gonna decrease a total of six times. Um, so for the small, um, I will have six fans left. For the medium, you'll have seven. And for the large, you'll have eight fans left in your sleeve. Um, after that, you are going to continue to do just regular fan stitch and trebles until the sleeve it says until the sleeve measures 21 and a quarter inches um personally i usually go until the you know i i follow the instructions until the sleeves measure about 20 inches but really um sleeve length is up to you um and then once you get done with the sleeve, you're going to work the same one in the exact manner. Um, and then you're going to fasten off and your fairy glass cardigan will be finished. All right, guys. So that is the end of my fairy glass cardigan tutorial. Um, this pattern is um, available for free um, uh, uh, through... Garn Studios. It is a drops drops design. Um, they just gave me permission to do tutorials on their free patterns. Um, I, I like I said. I hope you guys found it helpful. Um, I know a lot of people have told me that some of their designs, despite being absolutely gorgeous, are really hard to follow. Um, so I will be um, making more tutorials from some of their designs and you can catch um catch uh polls every now and then you'll catch a poll in my community tab where you can actually vote on which one of their designs that i do a tutorial on next um so i did also have a few people um ask me to make this into a full length video in, instead of it being broken into parts. Um, so I will be doing that as well. Um, I'm not going to be making another cardigan. I'm just going to repurpose the footage into one long video um, for those of you that are interested in that. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope that you guys continue to check out my channel, um, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!